Has your smartphone ever gotten wet or your iPad bounced off the ground? A case made by a San Diego company can protect your devices from all that. In fact, new at 7, the 10 News reporter Michael Chin shows us how the case can even save lives. Okay. This video taken by an iPad was shot moments after a remarkably calm Ted Wright crash landed a small plane in the Gulf of Mexico in October. We are hour one. Uh, we just had a plane crash in the Gulf of Mexico and the iPad survived thanks to the life proof case. The life proof case for iPads and iPhones is the brainchild of Gary Rayner. We have four levels of shock absorption. Whose local company, LifeProof, now boasts cases with a patented seal and locking mechanism. The LifeProof case is billed as drop proof. It is also waterproof. If the case gets wet, what's inside won't stop working. It's also dirt proof and snow proof. The really exciting thing for me is that this is actually saving lives. Uh, we know of over a dozen stories of people's lives that have been saved. During Hurricane Sandy, this is what firefighters in one New Jersey town saw, with two-way radios and pagers damaged by water. Fire crews leaned on iPhones in life-proof cases to find out where they had to go. Our fire crews were out, and uh, we saved approximately 40 people that were out. Uh, that couldn't get out of their houses. Another example involves two fishermen with few options after their boat sank off the California coast. I was able to call 911, um, give their location, they were rescued within an hour or so. In the case of the plane crash, the pilot treading water also had an iPhone with a life-proof case, but no phone signal. We seem to be okay without injuries. After he was rescued, he used the phone submerged for four hours to call loved ones. Stunning proof of a case deemed life-proof. Michael Chen, 10 News. Life-proof employs more than 200 people locally and plans to triple its workforce in the next two years, thanks to high demand. The cost of an iPhone case starts at about $70. Cases will be available for the Android in the next few months.